Hello everyone, welcome back to Lindsay's Builds. This will be part six of the uh, Art Royal. Today I'm going to concentrate on the uh, stern of the ship where I'm going to put this railing in and these side bulkheads and hopefully we'll get these armaments built there's uh, eight of those so we'll see how it goes and also i would like to get uh, this there's a piece that goes in there as well i'd like to get that in as well today if possible so that will be that so we'll make a start I shall just pause the camera and then uh, drop the camera down to the bench. Okay, so the first part I'm going to do is I am going to put this, uh, the rear railing that is just there, that part there. I'm going to put that in the back of the ship there. So I should put that bit in before I put those uh, side bulkheads in because I think it will be easier. <clears throat> so we'll get it off the fret. These things are so delicate to be so careful with them. take a bit of time to get out can't rush them there we go it's out Need that anymore this session. I'm just gonna trim the edge edges off. It was on the photo edge for it. You'll have to excuse if you hear my dog barking. She barks at the slightest little noise. Hope you can see what I'm doing. <clears throat> I'm going to roll it. much Thank you. 
not a lot of room on my bench because this is such a big ship. <clears throat> Just give it a test fit. So much more it wants to. Try and find the halfway mark and then kind of push it Kind of shaping it. <coughs> Such an awkward angle in the back here. I think that should do it. Okay. Let's get some super glue. stick Just doing a bit at a time, I think. Start on that edge there. You can't actually see what I'm doing. I do apologise. Do one half at a time. This is where I need a camera where I can get it completely over the bench. I keep saying it. They are quite fiddly and awkward to put these these railings in. And the glue goes off so quickly.
just going to pause the crambo because I am struggling with this. Okay, so that's that on. Just, I don't know whether you can see it. It's this railing right along this edge here. You can only just make it out on the camera, I think. If you can see it. There's one in the bottom, and then there's this one just here. All the way along here so that's that bit that's the only bit of photo etching in this session so now we shall go to We should put these sidewalls in now. They have to go in both sides. So there's two two E elevens, two E tens, and two E nines. Just gotta find the sprues. So we'll do the E9s first. So we'll sort of take both of them out. clean up there is some injection pin marks on them I'm not going to fill them because once you get the flight deck on you won't see them anyway so okay can zoom that goes that way in so I'll give that a bit of a test fit So it could be awkward. Let me look. <clears throat> I think that railing might be in the way. back in a minute okay so I'm back again I'm sorry but I had to do all that put those uh, those pieces in let me show you these these pieces in off camera because they were absolute nightmare uh, what that basically what the problem is because you got this railing in what Trumpeter haven't done these sidewalls they got like flat they made them so they're flat instead of having a kind of a bevel in them so therefore 
you're pressing up against the rail and you're squashing the railing up against the posts so it doesn't really want to mate up to the side of the ship so you you have to take a little bit out of the actual wall so you can get them to fit but basically what they should have really done was done these in small railings and then put them in it's either that or the railings should have gone right along inside that wall but there is actually a groove where that railing fits so it's it's down to the designers who made the kit it's just an absolute nightmare but they're in they're in now so that's them stages over and done with not really ideal but there you go So I'll just put that to one side. Now what we're going to do, we're going to make these eight guns, which are the uh, anti-aircraft guns. So we're going to make these, which are these, these ones here. So I'll just find the sprues for that, which is D sprue. Had it here not so long ago. Things are not going very well today. Right, that's where they are. Two, four, six, eight. Definitely need a bigger bench eventually, I think. right on the end here on the sprue and so whoever builds this ship just remember that you've got to bevel out those um, side walls so you're not squashing the railing up against the, the back wall and that bit because it's just one hell of a design fault it really is not ideal I had to do a few alterations to get them to fit I am going to introduce a maybe a Thursday live feed where I'm going to build a Partworks Mallard. Now I've had it in my possession since oh, I think 2012 when it came out. I have all the issues. I just got to um, buy myself some good soldering soldering iron gear because most of it is 90 percent photo etch it's been sat in my cupboard for a lot of years and i think it was about time it was built so that will be coming up on the channel i shall do a little video and show you the issues So that's uh, something you can look forward to. But that I shall do that on a live feed, or possibly on a Thursday. Or I can do it as a pre-recorded. If you could let me know on the channel which way you would like it, on a live feed or a pre-recorded. 
I would like to say to my subscribers, thank you very, very much for sub sub subscribing to my channel. It is starting to grow now. And I'm quite, quite pleased the way it's going. Just cleaning up these eight uh, tops of the um, anti-aircraft guns. Yeah, the part where it's mallard, that is in uh, it's in O gauge. It's one of those that uh, it's made by Hachette. And I could have, uh, after getting the issues, I could have gone further and built and bought the stuff so I could actually, so it could actually be motorised. But I'm sure that's something I can do along the way if I can get the parts. I think we'll only have time to build these guns and then we'll have to call it it on this channel on this uh, particular episode So instead of building all eight guns, uh, being repetitive with it, what I'll do, I'll build a couple and then I'll uh, pause the camera and then build the rest and then show you the rest of them because otherwise this video would just get too long. So we'll just get the rest of the parts. We want a D5. Right, so I'm going to pause the camera while I'm taking these out. Okay, so I'm back after about uh, 30 minutes, um, cutting stuff off the sprues and uh, getting all the pieces I want, sanding them down, cleaning them up. So we're going to make these uh, anti-aircraft guns. There's uh, D27, D16 that holds onto the, onto the guns. So these could be really proving difficult because they're tiny. So these, I think, 
I think they're the same size pins. They look like the same size. So I'll just show you. There's one of the guns with the barrels. That's the platform. We've got locator holes. And this is the top. Which is uh, that. So what I'm going to do is just find a pair of these stiff pliers, these stiff things here. What I'm going to do is just put that in there just to hold it. There's a right and wrong way with this, so I'll have to be careful what I'm doing. Just make sure that goes. Right up by the look of it. And the long bit goes to the front. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use time your extra thin here. Now, I can either put the, the uh, outside bits on there first and then try and get that in, or I can put those side pieces. On the barrel itself. So we'll see which is going to be the best way around. So I'll, I'll do two on camera. D27 side first. It's the same both sides. So. Proved to be a bit difficult, so we'll see how this goes. Let's find out which is the best way around. So that's one side on it, on the gun. Now I can put a D16 on. I've kept these separate just in case they are different. So they're probably totally the same, but. What I've got to do now is try and locate these in here. See if that goes. This could be more difficult than I thought. But never mind, we'll get through it. Just seeing which is the best way around to do it. Okay, I think it's going to be best to do it this way. We're going to do, we're going to put these in there first. I think it'd be a lot easier. Just 
put them uh, putting these side bits on the guns it doesn't really work it's just too much fiddling around So that's got that bit together. See these two pieces here, these are separate. And you have to glue them onto this bottom plate. Uh, I shall do the next one while that's drying. I don't think it really matters which way these go around, to be honest. I think the pin holes are the same, so... goes the moment of truth. Now I'll just put that through there for a minute, see how much room I've got. Because I don't want to
So that's one of them. Right, the top casing on. Actually, gonna go actually slide in there on the back. There you go, that's one end anti aircraft gun, aircraft gun, and the barrel goes up and down. Let's see. So that's one done. So we're going to end the video here. I'll just pause the camera so I can put the uh, camera back up okay so what that's that one done a little bit of progress I wanted to get a bit more progress done but uh, <coughs> those parts that uh, them side walls inside that uh, stern section they took up most of the time plus cleaning the parts up so the rest of the anti and these anti-aircraft guns I shall do off camera and I shall be back again with episode 7. Probably in a few days time. So I'd just like, just like to say to all my subscribers. Thank you very much for subscribing and sticking with me. Yeah, I'm well pleased with the way things are going. And uh, don't forget to keep liking and commenting. So I can reply to you. But I mean if you... Where the mallard's concerned, if you want a live feed on that, or you want it pre-recorded, recorded, let me know in the comment section. I should, like I say, I should do that on a Thursday probably, but it won't be this month. It'll probably start from next month because I've got to get myself some few bits because a lot of it is soldering. And I say it's like 90% photo etch. So uh, there's a lot of bending and soldering and everything else. So I'm quite looking forward to doing that one. So that'll be on a Thursday. It, uh, you want it either live feed or if you want it pre-recorded, just let me know in the comments. I shall do a little video on it. I shall get it all out of the cupboard and uh, show you a few issues of it. It uh, It is an old one. It's from Hachette. So I'll say goodbye and we'll see you all again.